Welcome back to Classic Guys. Let's go ahead and bow in. Tray up. Bow. Kunye. All right. So let's start off with some jumping jacks. Just to get that blood flowing a little bit. All right, now keep jumping just like this, and we're gonna start turning it into leg crosses. So keep that movement, leg crosses. Alternate which leg's in front each time. All right, so now we're gonna get into uh, a high front stance or forward stance. We're gonna extend our opposite arm, so if I have my left foot in front, I'm gonna put my right arm in front. My other hand is at my face, and I'm gonna switch my feet and switch my hands, just like this. No power, we're just switching. Notice how my hips are not really turning on this. I'm just switching which foot's in front, and I'm extending the other arm out. Not punching hard, just kind of pushing it out there. But notice how my hands come right back to my face each time. They're not coming back down towards my belt or my chest. They're coming right back towards my face. All right. Slow down. Take a breath in and out. Breathe in and out. Hands on your hips and circle your head. Nice, slow Full range of motion. Other direction. Don't go too fast on this. Just nice, slow. Loosen those neck muscles up. All right, now we're gonna do trunk twist. Feet a little bit apart, turn, and we're gonna try to get a little bit of a hip twist in there as well. Nice and relaxed. Turn your chest, turn your hips. Now we're gonna do hip circles. Big circles, far out as you can go with your hips. Don't hold your breath. Other direction. Feet together, knee circles. Other way. Socket stretch. Pick a side, either side. A few deep breaths in. Try to relax here. Socket stretch towards the other side. Make sure that heel is down. Don't raise that up yet. Should be feeling it on the inside of the leg, not the top. Now we're gonna drop one hand down. And we're gonna turn our back foot. Notice my heel is up now. We should be feeling a stretch on the top of the leg. We're doing our lunging hip stretch. We've done this before, we know how to do it. And switch all the way to the other side. Now we're going to drop back onto one foot, stretch your hamstrings, reach for your toes if you can. Make sure this knee stays straight and locked out though. Don't bend that knee. We want to stretch those hamstrings. And switch sides. All right, so from here, we're gonna slide one foot out. We're gonna do splits off to the side. And all the way to the other side. And to the front. It's 
stand up, hip twists, all right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to get into our sparring stance. We're going to do a front leg, front kick, front leg, front kick first. So remember, as we do this, I do not, I do not want you stepping up with your back leg before you kick. That is one of the most common things I see. I want you to lean back, putting your weight over the back leg instead of stepping up and kicking. We're just going to lean back and kick. So this is simulating that our opponent is coming in towards us. If we have to step up in order to reach, that means we're moving in towards our opponent. For this one, we're just imagining that our opponent is moving towards us. So front leg, front kick. Ready? Don't move your back leg. Side. Kick with the ball of the foot. Breathe out every time. Yes. Yes. Is it good? Get all. Uh huh. Hey. And now we're going to switch legs and we're going to do the same thing front leg, front kick. Ready? And there. Do you? Set. Net. Yes. Don't move your back leg. Yes. It's good. Get off. Aho. Yay. Take a breath in and out. All right, so the next kick we're going to do is going to be our rear leg roundhouse kick. So we usually do our rear leg roundhouse kick where we kick, and then we bring it all the way back behind us, right? So today what we're going to do is we're going to drop it down in front, and then we're going to step back. So I want you at this point to kick, drop it down, and then step back quickly. So we're imagining that we just made contact with our opponent, boom, and our foot, we want to drop it down quickly, and then we want to retract it back quickly. So my opponent is in front of me, I kick, boom, and I step back quickly to get out of that pocket. Ready? And, hane, roundhouse, drop down, step back. Three, roundhouse, drop down, step back. Set, drop down, step back. Net. Drop down, step back. Yes. Drop down, step back. Yes. Kick down, back. Is it good? Get off. Uh huh. Hey. Now we're going to do the same thing on our other side. So switch your legs. We're going to roundhouse kick, drop it down, step back. Ready? And then. Three. Set. Make sure you breathe every time. Net. Yes. Yes. Is it good? Get off. Uh huh. Yay. So, when I'm doing that specific roundhouse where I'm kicking and then I know I'm going to step back fast afterwards, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be keeping my weight over one leg. So I'm kicking with my rear leg, I'm keeping my weight over this leg, and now as I drop it down, I still keep my weight over my rear leg. Instead of coming back here, I'm going to keep my weight back here. That way I can quickly move back out of the way. Instead of having to, when I fall down, my weight shifts over my front leg, then I have to shift over my rear leg again, and then I can step back 
It's going to make it easier if I keep my weight back here to be able to step back. Now, as I'm pushing back, or as I'm doing this step back, I'm actually pushing off this front leg. So my weight still over my back leg. I press off that front leg in order to bring my weight back. And now as I step all the way back, my weight shifts to the back leg slightly. It can go in between, but I typically, right after the step, I move my weight further so that it's over this back leg. That way I'm really getting out of the way. Because if I step and I keep this weight over the front leg, my chest really didn't move too much. But now I'm assuming that my opponent is kicking at me. I want my chest to move back out of the way so I slide back. The cool part about this too is it allows for another front leg kick really easily. So I want you to keep that in mind for this next one. We're going to put together the two kicks that we just did. So it's going to be a front leg, front kick, rear leg, round kick, drop down, and then we're going to step back so that we can repeat it. So again, front leg, front kick, rear leg, round kick, step back. So keep those in mind when you're doing that step back now. Ready? Front leg, front kick, rear leg round, drop down in front, step back. Kick, kick, down, back. Set, front kick, round kick, back. Net, front kick, round kick, back. Yes, front kick, round kick, back. Yes, front, round, back. Here we go. Front, round, back. Get over. Front, round, back. What number was I on? Aho. Uh -oh. Hopefully. Round. Back. Yay. Front, round, back. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to switch sides. Ready? Front kick, front leg, roundhouse, drop down, step back. Yay. Front, round, my weight's over my back leg, step back. Set. Front, round, back. Net. Make sure you're breathing. Yes. Yes. Is it good? Get out. Uh -huh. Take a breath in, and out. Breathe in, and out. All right, so the next kick that we're going to do is going to be our front leg roundhouse kick. Front leg roundhouse kick. So we were doing a front leg front kick where my hips stayed squared. Now with this one, I'm going to turn my hips to the side. So I here, turn. The knot in my belt started facing forward. My opponent is in front of me. I'm going to turn the knot in my belt 90 degrees boom, as I kick with that front leg for the roundhouse and I drop it down in front. So it starts in front and it ends in front. Same thing as before though, I don't want to step up, kick and drop it down. I want to lean back, kick and drop it down. But I am still turning my hip over. So if my hip is pointed that direction right now, when I do this kick, it's going to be pointed up. So we are still turning our hip over with this front leg roundhouse. Ready? Set. Net. Yes. Yes. Is it good? Get out. Uh huh. Yay. Now we're going to switch legs and we're going to do the same thing. 
on the other side. Again, do not step up. Make sure we're just leaning back. My hip turns over so that my kick is not a front kick. It is a roundhouse going more sideways rather than more upwards. Ready? Hello. Set. Not. No, so. Yes. Yeah, so. Here we go. You know. Uh huh. Keep your hands up. Nice and relaxed, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a breath in and out. Breathe in and out. Okay, so we just did our front leg front kick. The kick that we did before that, well, we did a combination, but right before that, we did our rear leg roundhouse kick, dropping it down in front. So now we're gonna put both of those kicks together. So it's gonna look like this roundhouse with the rear leg, drop down in front, roundhouse with the front leg, drop down in front, step back so that we can reset. One more time. That is rear leg, starting with the rear leg, roundhouse, drop down in front. Now the leg that just kicked is gonna kick again. We're going to lean back, raise it up, sideways, roundhouse, drop it down in front, step back. All right, so we're just putting the kick from last time in with the new kick that we just did, and we're combining them together. So, ready? Rear leg, roundhouse, drop it down in front. Front leg, roundhouse, drop it down in front. Step back. Don't bring it all the way back after that roundhouse. Drop it down in front, then step back. Round to the front. Front leg, round, drop down in front. Step back. Set. Roundhouse. The rear leg drops down in front. Front leg, roundhouse. Step back. Head. Round, round, drop down in front and back. Does so. Round, in front, round, in front, back. Yes, so. Roundhouse, drop down in front. Another roundhouse, drop down in front, back. Is it good? Round, round, back. Get over. Round, round, back. Uh huh. Round, round, back. So I want to see some speed now. That's the last one. You got Round, round, back. Take a breath in and out. So when you're doing this one, I want you to think of it as your opponent or you're closing the distance on your opponent, right? My opponent's here. I kick round, I drop it down, and I kick round again. So I'm trying to get two hits in from the rear leg, boom, and I notice my opponent hasn't reacted. They haven't moved back out of the way very fast. Maybe this next kick is gonna go for the head because maybe they did a low block on the first one, so I kick another one to the head. But it's gonna be a consecutive one, two. And that's why I want you to set it down in front and I want you to learn to, boom, bounce it off the ground and then hit. So one more time, same thing, just watch. I'm going to kick and now as this is coming down, I'm gonna bounce it off the ground, boom for my second kick. So I'm using my leg as a spring. As it lands from that first roundhouse kick, I spring it, boom, right into that second roundhouse kick. We're gonna try to have a little amount of time in between there. We don't want a lot of, a lot of time or else our opponent's gonna recognize it, they can block it, whatever, get out of the pocket. We don't want that, so we want it really quick. So we're gonna go ahead and switch legs, do the same thing, other leg. Ready? And out. rear leg. Front leg, drop down in front, bring it back. Three, one, two, back. Set, roundhouse, roundhouse, back. Net, round, round, back. Yes, one. round, round, back. Yes, one. round, round, back. Is it good? Round, round, back. Uh -huh. Round, round, back. Yeah. Round, 
ground, whoop, to the front and back. There is a reason why we're dropping down to the front. I'll get to that in a minute. All right, so the next one we're going to do, we're going to put all three of the kicks that we've done today together into a combination. So it's going to look like this. Lean back, front leg, front kick. Drop it down in front. Rear leg, roundhouse, drop it down in front. Front leg, roundhouse, drop it down in front. Step back. Got it? So it's literally exactly what we've been doing. We're just putting them all together now. So first thing we did today was our front leg, front kick. After that, we did our rear leg, roundhouse, drop it down in front. And then we did our front leg, roundhouse. That's what we're doing. And then we do the step back. Ready? Front leg, front kick, drop down in front. Rear leg, roundhouse, drop down in front. Front leg, roundhouse, drop down in front. Step back. Hey. Front leg, front. Rear leg, round. Front leg, round, drop down in front. Step back. Set. Front kick, roundhouse, drop down in front. Roundhouse, drop down in front, step back. Ned, front kick, round, round, back. Now that's it. front, round, round, back. Yes, sir. front, round, to the front, round, to the front, and back. Number was that? Man, I always forget around this. It'll go, hopefully. Front. Round, round, back. Get you know, old. Front, round, round, back. Uh -huh. Front, round, round, back. Yeah. Front, round, round, back. Whew. All right. That was both sides, right? Wrong? Okay, let's switch sides then. Same thing, other side. Ready? And there. Front leg, front kick. Rear leg, roundhouse, drop down in front. Front leg, roundhouse, drop down in front. Step back. Hey. Front, round, drop down in front. Another round from the front. Step back. Set. Front, round, round, back. Net. Front, round, round, back. Hands are nice and relaxed. They're loose, but they don't drop. That's it. Front, round, round, back. That's it. Front, round, round, back. Is it good? Front, round, round, back. Uh -huh. Front, round, round, drop down in front, and back. Good. Front, round, Round, back. Take a breath in, and out. Breathe in, and out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, now what we're gonna do, what are we gonna do now? We're gonna put a back kick in there, right? Cool. So you know how to do a back kick, but let's practice it anyways. We're here, we're in our sparring stance. We're going to pivot our heels. That's the first count of a back kick. The second count is to look and see my target, but showing my back. I'm not going to try to show my shoulder. See, I shouldn't be able to point all the way at it. That's too much rotation. My hand should be off to the sides. And I look, and then I kick with my back leg. Back kick. Now, when we're doing this, I'm going to, I'm actually going to turn my back to you so you can see it. I'm going to do my back kick here, boom, and then I'm going to bring it back and turn. All right, one more time, just like that. I'm going to turn, look over my shoulder, kick back, bring it back and turn. That way I'm not spinning around in circles. So a lot of people do this, boom. And that's gonna, they're gonna be doing 10 circles and they're gonna get dizzy. So we're gonna kick and then we're gonna come back the direction that we kicked from. Ready? Turn, look over your shoulder, kick, come back. Turn, look over your shoulder, kick, come back. Set, turn, look, kick, back. Dead. Turn, look, kick, back. Yes, sir. turn, look, kick, back. Yes, sir. turn, look, kick, 
back. You're good. Turn, look, kick, back. Ahem. Uh -huh. Take a breath in. All right, we're gonna switch legs and we're gonna do the same thing. So just our back kick. So if you still need to, you can break it down, but if you don't need to, I want you to kick and then come right back into your position. You don't have to, one, two, three, kick. Go right for the kick and then bring it right back. Ready? Hana, turn, look, kick, back. Turn, look, kick, back. Set. Make sure you see where you're kicking. Net. Pick a target. Kick right at it. Yes. Pick a different target each time and kick right at it. Yes. Okay. You know. Aho. Yay. Take a breath in and out. Whew. Is it getting hot in here or is it just me? No, it's actually getting hot in here. All right, cool. So what we're going to do now, we're going to, like before, we're going to chain the last kick of the combination that we just did in with this kick. Right? That makes sense? So what was the last kick that we just did? It was a front leg roundhouse kick, right? So we're going to start off with our front leg roundhouse kick. Now we're going to do something a little bit different this time. When I drop it down, and let me explain this concept real fast. So my target, my opponent, is directly in front of me. This is called the center line. It's the quickest path right to me and my opponent. So I'm actually going to use this tape on the ground. Hopefully you can see it. So there's tape on the ground. As I kick, notice how the tape's center in my body. My uh, opponent is directly in front of me. As I kick, I'm going to kick with this front leg round. And now I stepped past this center line tape. So notice how you can see this back leg. I want you to be able to see this back leg because that means that my path for my back kick is clear. If you can see my back leg from the front, in front of my leg, that means I'm going to have to turn to clear that path. But if I drop this round kick in front slightly past, my path is easily accessible for me to do that back kick and that's what we want. So instead of kicking and then coming up short of this line, where now if I do my back kick, it's, <laughs> it's weird. It's a weird back kick. My leg's in the way. I'm getting in my own way. So I want to clear my own path by going slightly past and kicking. Now, when I do this, I'm doing this on purpose. So maybe you did it on accident. Maybe you kicked and they moved, and then boom, you follow up with that back kick. I like to do that a lot of the time. So whenever I notice that my foot is passing that line, boom, that center line, that means a back kick or a turning hook kick, whip kick, whatever you want to call it, is accessible from that moment. That's going to be an easier kick for me rather than here, I'm past this line because I missed my opponent. Now I want to come with another roundhouse kick because my opponent's still over there. That's weird. It's a weird feeling. It's not going to work out that well. So we want to go with what's the most common sense. So if my foot passes that center line, boom, that back kick can come straight down the pipe, and that's what we want. So we're going to practice that front leg, roundhouse kick, passing the center line, followed by the back kick. The back kick's still going to be done the same way, where I kick and I come back. That way I'm back in the same spot. I'm not moving too much around, and I can kick with the same leg again. Ready? And then front leg, roundhouse kick, slightly past the center line, turn, look, back kick, bring it back. Same thing. Hey. Front leg, round, turn, look, back. Set. Front round, back. Ned. Front round, back. This one. Front round, back. This one. Front round, back. Here we go. Front round, back. You know. Now, same things as before. Don't step up with your back leg for that front leg roundhouse kick. Uh-huh. Front round, back. 
Yeah. Front round, back. Take your breath in and out. Breathe in and out. All right, now we're gonna switch legs and we're gonna do the same thing. Ready? Don't step up with your back leg. We're kicking that front leg roundhouse, dropping it down in front, slightly past the center line, back kick, and then coming right back. Ready? And it. Front round, past the center line. Notice how when I land, too, my toes are pointed backwards already, so now I'm not worried about having to turn. I'm already turned. Back kick, bring it back. Three. Round, back, bring it back. Set, roundhouse, back kick, bring back. Ned, round, back. Make sure you're looking at your target. Yes, round, back. Yes, round, back. Here we go. Round, back. Get you know, Round, back. Aho. Hey. Take a breath in and out. All right. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to put everything that we've done today together into one combination. So, I'm gonna give you a second, and I want you to do the combination. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, you know what it is, right? Hopefully, think back, think back. What have we done today so far? Practice that combination, just add that back kick at the end, and you've got it, right? All right, cool. So, now that you've got it down, without me even having to explain it, let's begin. Ready? And uh, lean back, front leg, Front kick, drop down in front. Rear leg, round kick, drop down in front. Front leg, round kick, drop down slightly past the center line. Back kick, come back, step back. Now we're back in that same position with the same leg starting off in front. I have my left leg in front, so pick whichever one you want. But remember, that's the one that's gonna start out in front each time we do this combination until we switch sides. Three. Front leg, front kick. Rear leg, roundhouse, front leg, roundhouse, slightly past center line, back kick, bring it back, step back. Set, front kick, round, round, back, bring back, step back. Good, front, round, round, back, bring back, step back. Does it. Front, round, round, back kick, bring back, step back. Does it. Front, round, round, back, bring back, step back. Does it. Front, round, round, back, bring back, step back. Is it good? Front, round, round, back, bring back, step back. Man, what number was I on? Yes, so front, round, round, back, bring back, step back. Here we go. Front, round, round, back, bring back, step back. Get over. Front, round, round, bring back, bring back, step back. Uh -huh. Front, round, round, Back, bring back, step back. Yeah. Front, round, round, back kick. Good. Take a breath in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And we're going to switch legs and we're going to do the same thing. Ready? Set. And in. Front leg, front kick. Rear leg, roundhouse. Drop it down in front. Front leg, roundhouse. Drop it down in front. Back kick. Bring it back. Step back. Good. Three. Front. Rear leg round. Front leg round. Back kick. Bring it back. Step back. Set. Front leg, front kick. 
rear leg roundhouse, front leg roundhouse, back kick. Ned, front leg, front kick, rear leg round, front leg round, back, bring it back, step back. That's it, front, roundhouse, roundhouse, back kick. Bring it back and step back. Yes, sir. front, roundhouse, roundhouse, back kick. Bring back, step back. Yes, sir. front, round, round, back. Bring back, step back. Feel good? Front, round, round, back. Bring back, step back. Get all front. Round, round, back kick, bring back, step back. Uh huh. Front, round, round, back, bring back, step back. Good. Front, round, round, back, bring back, step back. Take a breath in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. All right. So, Today, for conditioning, yes, we're on conditioning now, so great job. I'm putting all of that stuff together. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to move on to our conditioning. So today, we're going to do balancing side kicks. Balancing side kicks. All right? So we're going to do three sets of ten. Balancing side kicks. We're not going to do them super fast. Not going to do them super slow. We're just going to push them out, and we're going to flex at the end. So watch. As I get ready for my side kick, I raise up. Notice how... My heel is slightly in front of this side line, as I like to call it. My hip is pointed that direction. My heel is slightly in front of it. Instead of behind it, where when I extend out, it looks like a roundhouse kick, I want to extend out where it looks like a side kick. Now, when I get all the way to my full extension here, I'm going to flex my quads. I'm going to flex my glutes for a second, and I'm going to bring it back, and I'm going to go out for the next one. Flex, flex, back. So I want you to fully extend it out while balancing, and I want you to flex those two muscle groups, your quads, the muscles right here in front of your leg, and your glutes, or your butt muscles. So I want you to flex both of those muscle groups So when you have full extension. Those are the ones I want working during this kick, and I want you activating them while we're doing this. Again, we're not doing power, we're not doing speed, but we are flexing it at the end for a second, and then we're bringing it back. I want you to be, feel the flex. All right, ready? Start with whatever side you want. I'm going to start with my good side so I can fall on my bad side. Ready? Bring it up. And go. Extend out. Flex. Bring back. Extend out. Flex. Bring back. Out. Flex. Back. Out. Flex. Back. Out. Flex. Back. Out. Flex. Back. Out, flex, back. Out, flex, back. Out, flex, back. Last one, out, flex, back. All right, so hopefully you're feeling a little bit of a burn. Maybe, maybe not. Hopefully you didn't just fall and weren't able to do that. If you did fall and you weren't able to do it, hurry up, hurry up, come on, 10, 10, let's go, let's go. All right, great job. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the other side. Same thing, gonna have that flex. Ready? Get your balance. And go. Out, flex, back. 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 Make sure you're flexing them. Out, flex, back. Out, flex, back. Out, Flex, back, out, flex, back, last one, out, flex, flex, back. Take a breath. We got two more sets, same thing. So I really want you to flex those muscles as you get that full extension. It does a few things. One, it tells your body how to activate these muscles so that you know that they are going to be used when you're doing this kick. Two. Some people have problems with flexibility in their 
uh, hip flexors and especially in the hamstrings when we flex the muscle opposing so my quads opposes my um, hamstrings my glutes oppose my hip flexors when I flex the opposing muscle it sends a signal from my brain to the opposing muscle that is tight to relax and loosen up so that my other one can actually flex when I'm doing that it's gonna help me get a little bit more flexibility and again I'm going to learn how to activate those muscles making it easier to do this kick whenever I need to so we're gonna go back to our first side make sure that we do flex if you have to pause a little bit longer to actually <laughs> trigger it in your body and your mind to be able to flex those muscles that's fine all right it's only going to help you more it might hurt more but it will help you more all right get ready get set raise it up go out flex back 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 out, flex, back, out, flex, back, out, flex, back, out, flex, back. Great job. Now we got it the other side. Let's do it. Bring that leg up and go. Out, flex, back, out, flex, back. Make sure you flex. Out, flex, back. 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 Notice how my heel is trying to point up the whole time. Don't point it down. Out, flex, back. Out, flex, back. Whew, how many more sets do we have? Five? Oh man, I don't know if I can do five more. Let's just do one more. All right. So, like I mentioned at the end of that last one, when I'm doing this, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm trying to keep my heel pointed more horizontally rather than pointed down. So instead of going back to this as my chambered position, I want to go back to this with my heel pointed as my chamber position compared to heel pointed downwards. So try to keep that in mind. It will work in extra muscle group, just holding it up there. That's good. We're trying to strengthen them all, right? We got one more side. Let's do it. Bring the leg up. And which way do I want to face? I want to face this way this time. Bring it up. Out. Flex. Back. Out. Flex. Back. Out. Flex. Back. Out. Flex. Flex. Back. Out. Flex. Back. Get full extension. Out. Flex, back, out, flex, back, out, flex, back, out, flex, back, out, flex, don't fall, back. Whew. One more side, one more side, last side. Ready? Set. Raise up. Go. Out, flex, back. 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 Keep that heel up. Out, flex, back. Out, flex, back. Out, flex, back. Last one. I'm falling out flex hold it don't fall don't fall don't fall back Woo. take a breath in and out <sighs> hopefully you are not falling around as much as I am hopefully all right so let's go ahead cool down a little bit breathe in and out breathe in nice deep breathe out and let's go ahead and let's reach for our toes Let's just kind of bounce here. So don't, don't force it hard. Just kind of bounce up and down a little bit. Let your arms relax. Notice how my arms are kind of just dangling. I'm not really keeping them flexed. As I bounce up and down, they kind of move and do their own thing too. So I'm trying to relax them. Bounce up and down. Notice how you should be able to go a little bit further. Make sure we're not holding our breath. Good. And come up. 
Now, let's go ahead, and if you need to, you can put your hand on the wall or whatever you have around you, and let's stretch our quads, just like this. If you don't feel too much of a stretch, pull your leg back, and then bring it in towards your glutes. A few nice, deep, slow breaths. And let's go ahead and switch off to the other side. Same thing, bring that leg up. Keep going, keep holding it. Good, all right, now we're gonna stretch our hamstrings. So, we're going to sit down, we're gonna put the inside of our foot right on our other knee. We're going to extend out and reach for our toes. If you can, pop your toes. You don't have to do that, I'm just hand stuff so you can give yourself incentive to touch your toes. A few deep breaths, slow. Try not to breathe too fast right now. Other leg, switch legs. Same thing. Nice, relaxed. Don't, uh, don't hurt yourself, don't get too tight. All right, let's stand up. Let's do some modified hip twists. And cherry up, bow, kunye. And great job on that class, you guys.